Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Well, welcome back to my channel, Inside to Him. Okay, so welcome to a very special edition of my monthly plans video. Um, as you may or may not know, May is universally known on the internet as Me Made May, which means all throughout the month, People are going to be posting um, their me made outfits, what they wear every single day. I'll be participating. I'll be sharing all of that with you. But because it's me made me, I thought it would be interesting. I thought it would be appropriate if instead of making anything new at all, like literally nothing new, all I would do is work on my work in progress pile. Since I'm not doing a proper month of making clothes, I thought I would show you guys some of my works in progress, where I stand with them. You guys are either going to laugh at me, yell at me, or you're going to be like, I am right there with you. Because some of these are like literally 95% of the way done. I probably have no idea what the patterns are, so I apologize if you see something that you like that you want to make. When I finish it, I will model it and I will have all the information for you, but right now all I've got is a pile of unfinished stuff. So if you like something, I will finish it. Stay tuned. You will learn about it, I promise. Um, okay, so the first thing is this little skirt. And guys, it's seriously, I think it just needs a hem. Um, it's got the waistband on. It's got the zipper in. Um, it is pretty much completely, well, not pretty much. It's totally finished on the inside, ready to go. It's just literally missing a hem. So all I can think is that this doesn't fit. And that's why I never finished it. And if that's the case, I'll throw a hem on it and then take it over to the Goodwill. Um, but it is a 95% finished, like, little A-line skirt. I mean, I even surged the hem. I just didn't fold it under and stitch it. I don't know. Okay, so that's the first thing. The second thing is... Um, I remember this. This is the pop over poncho. I can't remember who makes that, but this is like a little plaid. You guys can see the fabric here. Um, you know, little poncho cape type thing, which would have been great for spring in Charlotte because, you know, it's not super cold, but you know, it's not hot either. So it'd have been great to like just throw this over jeans and a t-shirt, but it looks like I've got like the every it looks like I have a lot of this done actually too more than half um let's see here we've got um oh my god it has well pockets look I put in well pockets that's amazing so I don't know what it's missing maybe the pocket bag yeah I don't know what's going on with this one but isn't it cute this needs to be finished. This needs to be finished. I've got a cowl neck. Oh, I guess I was going to put a cowl neckline. I don't know if I agree with that choice anymore. That would be like a lot of bulk right here. Maybe I can just bias bind it and hem it and then pretty much be done. Oh, it's itchy though. Um, what's going on on the inside? Yeah, she's like pretty much done. It also looks a little bit big. I don't know. Um, so this is the next thing. Pop over poncho by, I can't remember who. Um, I probably didn't finish this because the seasons changed. That happened a lot when I lived in South Carolina. It was like, I would be so into making something and then it would be like too hot to wear it all of a sudden. So then I wouldn't finish. Um, that's the story with that trench coat, which isn't in this pile, but is technically still a work in progress. So that, okay, this I remember I did finish, I think, and then it didn't fit. There was like some issues in the bust. Um, isn't it cute though? And so 
I should just donate this. I don't need to cut this up and make it into something else. It's completely done, like totally done. It just doesn't fit. So that isn't even really a work in progress. It's just done. Um, so yeah, Goodwill pile. Oh, it even has pockets. So I'll just stitch in a little um, label with some sizing and off to the Goodwill. Okay, that's easy. Next up, um, okay, so this is McCall's, uh, oh no, Butterick 5928. It is a little like cascade front suede, um, little like lightweight jacket thing. And I remember like running to Joanne because I had to find suede fabric um, because this is like a ready to wear knockoff type thing. But then as I started making it, I stopped liking it. And that's why I never finished. But from the looks of it, all it needs are the sleeves. So that's another 75% done project. I don't hate it as much as I remember now looking at it. It doesn't look that bad, right? I mean, the coloring's not great, but anyways, that's a little lightweight jacket that would be so appropriate for the weather right now. Okay, this is another gym. Love this one. Using like a border print, another suede. It's like laser cut. <laughs> I think, I think all I need is the hook and eye. I'm pretty sure that's all that this is missing. This could use some reworking too. Maybe I'll work, or maybe I'll restitch the zipper tape on the bottom. But you know, it doesn't have a hem because it's border print. It's super cute. Literally, I think that that's it. I just need to hand sew um, some hook and eyes for that back closure. Um, oh, and hand stitch this down. Okay, you can see now that all of this is just like tacked. It's not actually fully stitched. So I need to go in and hand sew all of that. Well, that'll be fun. There's lots of good TV on right now. So that will be that. Super cute. Love this. And the color is like so on right now. This is like a lavender-y color. Cute. All right. That's that. How many of you guys remember this one? <laughs> okay. So this is Carolina Herrera fabric that I got in New York City um, just this past year. And I was making a bird address. And I'm 99% sure that I think that the pattern called for three eighth inch seam allowances and I used five eighth inch seam allowances with a serger. And so this doesn't fit at the moment. I did try and let out the back, which helped a little bit. Um, but I stopped working on it because I just knew there was no way I was going to fit into it. And this one also has super, um, high arm size, just like the last Berta dress I did. But this was Berta from the website. Uh, well, I don't know because look, like I added in seam allowance, you know, I added it myself. I don't know. It doesn't fit. It was too small and I don't know why it would be too small unless their stuff just runs really, really small, but it doesn't have a hem and I need to sew the like all in one facing um, and finish off the armholes. And then I don't know, say a little prayer that one day it will fit again. I mean, I have literally nothing. It's all actually, I do have some. Well, maybe my memory is not serving me right about this dress. I thought I knew exactly what was going on here, but maybe not. Maybe I was just over it and annoyed. 
and so I put it away. But you can see I have a little bit of seam allowance to work with there in the waist. That's where it didn't fit was in my waist. So I'll have to try that one on and just see where we stand. There's kind of a lot of weird stuff going on with that one. Okay, this guy, okay, this guy I made with the Art Gallery Charleston fabric line, which I thought was so cute with these magnolias. Um, but the pattern I used, the front opening is so big that like if I lean over the littlest bit, like everything is showing. And so you can see where I had been like using safety pins to kind of like pull it up. And so since there is gathering here with the pattern like already in, I thought I was going to unpick the neckline and gather it more and to pull in, I mean, probably like three inches worth of excess in here. So this is not necessarily a work in progress as it is like an alteration needs to be done. But it is super cute. I love this pattern. I got to remember what pattern this is so that I can. I did do a video on this. I remember filming it. Um, it's on the channel somewhere. I will put it in the little corner here. Um, what was I going to say? I do love it. It is super cute. I got to remember what pattern it is so that I can make another one. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. So that's more of like an alteration on that one. Okay. These pants. Oh, okay. So, okay. We've got two things going on here. We've got these pants, which never, I never finished the like waistband because they were too small. They're high waisted and the waistband doesn't fit. I don't know what happened. I don't know if I didn't measure correctly. I don't know. Um, but the fabric is super cute. So at the very least, uh, if I can't get the waistband to fit, this is all gathered, so I should just cut off the waistband and make a new one. And then this is Soaholic that maxi skirt that they have, and it's huge, like so big. Um, and again, I never finished the waistband on it. Um, but I also thought it wasn't super flattering. So I need to just figure out, am I going to keep this or not? And if I either way finish this and then either give it to Goodwill or wear it. Um, I mean, I guess technically, well, no, because it all has all these extra seams. There seems like vertical seams like this. So I can't really make it into something else. But I just remember it not being super flattering. So I'll have to try it on again. So two different bottoms there in various stages of finishedness. Oh, this one, oh God, just like memories. So this one is going to be so cute. Uh, I just need to, it looks like finish the sewing down the lining and like the whole back is open. So I just need to stitch up the back seam but it's really cute and I did like a lot of fun stuff with the stripes. Isn't that cool? This is a pattern I wanted to make forever and ever and ever. What is that though? I don't know, I guess that's how the, maybe when you put it on, it's different. But um, it needs that and a hem. Pockets, but it's got the floppy pockets. Meh. But, oh well, they're already in. So yeah, maybe like an hour or two worth of work on this one. I mean, all of this is finished. I just need to finish the lining, attach the lining and sew up the back. And that's really it. Cute, okay, that's <laughs> promising. This guy, oh gosh. This guy, I'm pretty sure doesn't fit. Um, but it is so cute. It's like, remember when that trend of wearing like the overlays was like super in? So this is going to end up at Goodwill. Um, but I need to finish whatever's going on here with the unfinished zipper tape end. And then the bottom is just like open. Like I need to finish sewing up that skirt. But this is mostly done... It's just, I think that the armholes were too small, especially in this brocade. It like wasn't giving anything and the waistband of the actual dress is too small too. 
So I, I remember this. I mean, I'll try it on. Oh, it needs a button too. I mean, I'll try it on for good measure just to make sure. But yeah, unfortunately, this one was a fail. I picked the wrong size. And I can't remember why I was doing that. I feel like I did that a lot there for a little while. This one, so cute. We're almost at the end. Um, looks like it's done. Why am I not wearing this? Why is this not in my closet? Why is this not in my closet? I don't know. I don't remember. It's completely done and hemmed and everything. No idea. I'll put it on just to see. Maybe I was like unhappy with that, how that is like poking out. I wonder if it's like that when I wear it. I don't know. I got to try this one on and see what's going on. There does seem to be some issues with the collar, but not a ton. I don't know. Honestly, guys, I have no idea. I have no idea. So stay tuned. Maybe you'll see this one sooner than you think. It looks like I did wear it once. There's, um, deodorant on the arm. I don't know. Something happened when I wore it that made me think it wasn't put it in the closet. This one is also an alteration. So I'm pretty sure I put this one on the channel already, but then this happened. Uh, I was trying to eke out like more um, width in the waistband because I didn't realize it, but this is not stretchy at all. And so I made it in a pattern intended for knits with stretch and this doesn't stretch. So I was trying to just use like a quarter inch seam allowance and then it came off the zipper tape. So I've got to figure out a plan with that, but, oh, and it needs a hem, a circle skirt hem. So maybe I didn't put this on the channel, but I feel like I did, but maybe I didn't, but I feel like I did. I definitely did. Sneak. <laughs> I guess you're getting like a spoiler alert that sometimes I put stuff on the channel when they're not totally finished. Um, so yeah, I just have to fix that zipper. It is a cute dress. I remember getting um, lots of compliments on it. And then there's this guy, which is also totally done. But again, I just didn't find it super flattering. So I have got to just figure out, am I going to keep this or not? Um, it's these hip, hip things. Like I was trying to like go out of my comfort zone. Maybe what I'll do is I'll wear it tomorrow and see how I feel. But if I feel like uncomfortable or like, you know, not my best in it, then I'll just give it to Goodwill because it is really cute. You can't really see the skirt though. Hold on. Can you see how it's like sewn? Yeah. So I was trying to like branch out for my usual like fit and flare. I probably shouldn't have done that, <laughs> but now I know. It also could use a hook and eye. It doesn't have one and some thread trimmings. But anyways, okay, so that is the end of my little collection of works in progress. That is the bulk of them. I know I have like another maxi skirt in my closet and I have that trench coat with the burgundy piping. If you've been following for six months, you probably saw that at one point. Um, so I have a couple of other things, but that's already, what are we at? One. So I have 10 things. <laughs> that's going to fall. Okay. So I've got a oh, note. Did I count that one? 10 or 11 things plus those other two. So call it like 13. Um, and then that needs buttons. So that's 14. So I have about 15 things. Let's just call it 15 things and four months to do it. So if I do one every other day, <laughs> then I'll have all my works in progress completed and I can either wear them or donate them or just figure out what I'm going to do with them. Um, so I hope you enjoyed looking through my works in progress. 
We'll see what I get through. I will be posting uh, updates and all of that on my Instagram. So if you don't follow me already, uh, it's Inside the Hem. Uh, so you can check me out there. Also on Facebook. I have a Facebook page, Inside the Hem. So um, whichever platform. Um, and then as I get them filmed, I'll do my full pattern review and reveal and model it and do all that fun stuff for you guys. So anyways, hope you enjoyed this one. I will see you all very soon. Bye.